Blessings to all of you beautiful beings, it's Elena and I'm enchanted to have you be here on my channel. Hello and welcome, I'm so glad that you're here. If you're new, consider liking, subscribing, becoming part of my little YouTube family and if you've been here before, hello and welcome back to each and every one of you fantastic, amazing, smart, beautiful individuals right across the screen. Lots of love, lots of warm hugs and hopefully you and yours are safe. So in today's video, we are doing yet another triple unboxing of The Witch's Moon, The Witch's Bounty, and The Witch's Roots. These are The Witch's Moon's all three tiers of their monthly subscription boxes. This is not a sponsored video. I have purchased these with my own money and I have been getting them for many, many months now and I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy these boxes. Now I'm going to pop up the prices above them because I don't exactly remember how much they are per box, but they are different tiers, not by the amount of items inside. They are kind of based around a little bit of a theme. So we have the Witch's Roots here, which is based around an herb of the month. So it's more like botanical type of box. Then we have the which is Moon, which is their second tier, and it's based more around like altar pieces and more of like building up your witchy kind of supplies, so to speak. And then we have the Witch's Bounty, which is based around some kind of magical, beautiful jewelry. And they're all wonderful and great boxes, which is why I end up getting all three at once and doing a major comparative unboxing type of thing. All right, so without further ado, I'm gonna put these two off to the side and we're gonna start off with the witch's roots. Now I smell something very nice and almost perfumey from this box, which is usually the case with these boxes. Oh, another good thing that I like about them is that the smaller boxes come in little pouches and this bigger, po bigger box comes in a different box, which means the boxes within with their beautiful artwork are preserved and I'm able to hoard them and reuse them and recycle them, which is always a plus, especially when they're, you know, all, all cute and stuff. Anyways, do a little bit of a unboxing for this one, but they're not really fun to do like a zoom in unboxing since you go from brown to brown and then you open it up and it's going to be a little bit of brown inside as well. Well, paper wise. So this is their information pamphlet, which is something I'm going to read later. And the crystal for this box, did I open up the right one? I did. We have artwork for Angelite. Nice. I thoroughly enjoy working with Angelite. It is a wonderful, wonderful crystal to work to connect with higher energies and higher guides and spirit guides, potentially. It doesn't work for all spirit guides, but it works for some. And the herb we have in here is Rosemary. I adore their artwork. There's just something so wonderfully like aesthetic and like old fashioned -y and witchy about the artwork. Absolutely love it. So I'm going to take it right out of the plastic, put these aside. I end up saving these for shipping stuff afterwards. And the herb for this month is rosemary. It is again very beautifully done and it has all of its correspondences. It has the element, colors, stone, botanical alleys, animal alleys, so on and so forth. Tons of information amongst this like little piece of paper. Then we have, ooh. oh, we have another little, so these are kind of like oracle cards or like daily little inspirational cards. And they have sent similar things before and I really enjoyed using them. And I kind of started off posting them on my Instagram doing like a daily story with them and then I kind of forgot. <laughs> I might pick that back up again with these. Nice, so this is called Divine Doors. It says behind every door lies adventure, mystery, and inspiration. I'm gonna show you at the front of this. 
quite cute. In the back it says Divine Doors is a 40 card inspiration deck that reveals answers to your deepest reflection and inspired musing. With photography of unique doors from across the globe, you will discover a new way to see the world, to tap into your intuitive spirit and unlock the creative force within. Ooh, let's take a look at these. Oh, how fun. So we have a ton of fancy different doors. I'm gonna kind of do like a little up close picture of this. I'm not gonna go through all of them because we have a couple boxes to go through, but I'm just gonna show you kind of a brief overview of them. And let's see what the card has to say for you watching right now. So we're gonna do this card here. I did a very, very basic shuffle of this. And it says, it says that is not the card for us. Okay. Let's pick another one. What is the card for us? So we're gonna go with this card here. And it says, Sunset. Time here turns to release and unfurl old cords of pain fade as the sun's light burns. Pass this card on. So this card is for you watching right there. All right, on to the rest of the goodies inside this box. All of these boxes are so detailed, filled with so many wonderful things that it's kind of tough to put all three together in one video, but I'm gonna do my best and not to like pause and oodle out, you know, each individual thing. <laughs> so we have the chunk of herb. We have rosemary, a nice big, big bag of it. Rosemary is a very, fairly common herb. Um, if you are ever looking to add rosemary to your witch's cabinet, so to speak, I would highly suggest trying out grocery stores because with them, you automatically know that it's an edible type of herb that you're able to do. And that's where I get most of my herbs from anyways, is from grocery stores. And on top of that, it is less expensive than if you were to go to like a magical curio shop type of thing where anything with a little bit of a witchy aesthetic spin to it makes it a little bit more expensive. So, witchcraft on a budget, grocery stores. Highly underrated. <laughs> then we have their incense sticks. It's called Open Doors. I like that. Let's see how this smells. Is this the perfumey thing that I've been smelling? Oh gosh, everything is falling today. Yes, this is slightly perfumey. I stuck my nose like way too quickly into it. And a little soapy. Hmm. Hmm. It doesn't smell bad. It smells very clean, like, like a laundry detergent almost. I like it. And it just says open door, open doors, ritual incense. Then we have their oil. Are you the oil? You are the oil. After I unfurl it from its little packet. I'm gonna put that aside. I save a lot of packaging. And open pathways. So we have open doors, open pathways. This will be a really, really good box to work with things to encourage opportunities for you. Ooh, this smells good. Definitely smell the rosemary in it. Mmm, this smells really good give you an up close view of it and then the back show you all those little swimming green bits of I assume rosemary definitely see a bunch of rosemary in here obviously since rosemary's you know the herb then we have their candle Let's see ooh it is a very pretty yellow I love, 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 love their candles. These are beeswax hand-rolled candles and they burn amazing. I love incorporating them into, I hate unpackaging them, but I love incorporating them into my spells and rituals because they burn so nicely and I absolutely love the way they smell because <laughs> they kind of smell a little bit like honey since they're bee. They're a pain in the butt to unwrap from their packaging. Which 
is a struggle all in its own. Minor intermission as I toss that in the trash can. So we have a very pretty yellow candle. And what you're able to do with these is this part of the wax. So if you warm it up between your palm just a little bit, you need just a little bit of warmth since it's beeswax and it forms fairly easily. You're able to kind of make this part a little bit flexible and you can unroll it and anoint it within the candle instead of making a mess on the outside. This is particularly good that I found to anoint it inside if I go and do a spell work outside. That way I don't have to travel oils with me or anything like that. I can anoint them beforehand and tuck them away and finish my spell or ritual outside and it gets a lot less messy than if I were to bring oils and all these other things that I'm able to kind of prepare things ahead of time, kind of tuck them away and, and it's less of a mess. So now that weather is getting warmer, I end up doing a lot of my workings outside and kind of do half inside and then half outside. In any case, love love these candles to bits and pieces. Where am I putting them? I'm gonna put it here. And then we have a Palo Santo stick. Ah, this is the perfumey smell that I've been smelling. I love the smell of Palo Santo. A very nice cleansing herb incense. I'm not entirely, it's a piece of bark, a very cleansing piece of bark that burns wonderfully and smells amazingly. And it's a really good like cleansing, like I said, herb and protection herb. And then we have a piece of angelite. I assume since the artwork is angelite. It is a very pretty tumbled blue piece. Love the color of it. I love how they put it in a matching blue bag. Very nice, pretty, tumbled angel egg piece. All right, so that is it for the box other than squiggles. I'm gonna tuck all of this away. And we're going to read about it. Oh boy. Come on, let's, let's be nice and neat all the way over there. Ooh, they changed up their paper a little bit. Now it has a slightly like purplish tint to it. So we have open pathways and they have a ton of information about all the stuff in here. So I'm going to skim through it a little bit and just kind of give you the basic bits and pieces. But on the top it says, blind are those that cloud their minds with minuscule and judgmental thoughts always focusing on those things that never serve them in the best light. It is so common for us to get overwhelmed by the current realities of our world that we easily forget that our psychic sight is yearning to be used. It is within our ability to trust synchronicities and signs from our guides and allow us to open doors of opportunity that we were otherwise non-existent. In a world where it is so difficult to see beyond our current concerns, we rely on the intuition we have refined through our practice and ritual we learn on our undeniable gift of connecting with other realms and noticing small hints and gestures. It is so important that we calm the mind, center the physical body, and ignite the energy surrounding us so that we can find those doors that would have otherwise been locked and sealed forever. The magical items in this box are as follows. So we have rosemary herb, originally native to Mediterranean, um, and with and used with burial rituals associated with the ancient Egyptians. It is the very reason why we have incorporated this herb within this collection. As seekers knowledge, wisdom, opportunity, beauty, and magic, it is vital that we walk with an open spirit so that our third eye may remain active and aware. Then it has more of the correspondences in the artwork there. We have rosemary herbal grimoire artwork, which is exactly what I just mentioned. Um, Divine Doors inspirational inspiration deck, which is the little deck of cards that have little wonderful inspirational messages that I'm hopefully going to take, you know, like snap pictures and do them in my Instagram story. So make sure you follow me on Instagram if you want to see them, if I keep up with it, which I will do my best. <laughs> then we have Open Pathways Magical Anointing Oils. It is included with spearmint and rosemary herbs as well as 
spearmint rosemary sandalwood oils. Then we have angelite stone, an absolutely positive and supportive stone. Angelite is truly a special companion to associate with on your journey. Angelite is known for its wonderful ability to bring peace and calm to any energetic situation, as well as nurturing intuition and psychic sight. Carry the stone with you throughout your day or place within your sacred space. Be careful about placing it anywhere where you rest because if you keep this close, keep this stone too close to where you're sleeping or trying to rest or take a break, this stone is very active in trying to like build a connection or like raise your vibration for a connection. So it might interfere, interfere with a restful sleep, just giving you a heads up. Then we have Angelite Book of Shadows reference page, open doors, ritual incense sticks. They never disclose what's in it, so they're just wonderful stinky sticks. Then we have Awakening Mini Spell Candle, which is their hand-rolled beeswax candle, and Holy Wood Palo Santo incense stick. All right, so here are the wonderful goodies for that box. On to the next box, so we're gonna do the Witch's Moon, and this box is always so heavy because it's filled with so many wonderful things. Um, not really much of a dramatic opening since we go from brown to brown, but we do have some something smells. Something smells a little weird in there. We do have some artwork and stuff here. So I have an oracle card and it says releasing allegiance. Ooh. Here's the back of this oracle card, which is just absolutely stunning. And then the front of it is absolutely stunning as well. Very beautiful cards. Then we have their information pamphlet, which I will use later. And we have their sigil. Hmm, not entirely sure which way to hold it, but let's give it a guess to hold it this way. Very nice sigil. Then we have the artwork. We have two pieces of artwork here. <gasps> Ooh. That's so funny. I think maybe about a month ago, I just finished filling in my pages of all of these symbols in my book of shadows. So it's, it's fun to have a larger reference, I suppose just put in all that hard work when I could have just waited a little bit and gotten a very pretty print of it but that's okay I much prefer to do hand drawings in my book of shadows anyways only certain artwork gets added we have here honeymoon June Espot and full moon nice so this is for the June Espot summer solstice that is a very beautiful piece of artwork. And this is a very beautiful piece. I love, love their art. It just inspires me to like, I don't know, get in my element or something like that. I, I don't, it's, it's very inspiring, like aesthetic. I love it, absolutely, absolutely love it. So here is this beautiful artwork. All right, I'm gonna put that aside. I'm gonna plop you on top so I can maneuver around a little bit better. Ooh, I see something in a pretty fancy box. Ooh. All right, we're gonna get to the box later. Let's start off with the herbs that they sent. We have wild cherry bark, nice. Dead sea salt. And then marshmallow root. So I'm gonna give you up close views of all of them. I do have all of these in my cabin as well, but it's nice to have additions. And it's good to keep replenishing, so I'm not kind of having a <laughs> scarcity mentality where I don't really want to use it because I'm going to end up using it up. So I know that I'm going to be getting some things in the boxes and I'm less scared of um, using up things. I have the same issue with like stickers and other pretty things that get used up, but I'm learning to kind of let go and use that pretty sticker. <laughs> let me know if you know what I'm talking about down in the comments. So here we have, ooh, what are you? I see some kind of sphere on one end. 
what do we have? A lollipop? Are you part of like a, oh, are you a puddle topper stopper thing? No, that's not another part of it. That's not it. I'm gonna take a peek. Are you part of this or are you just Oh, it's so pretty. I'm very excited. Okay, I'm not gonna hug it. I'm gonna show it to you. So in here we have this beautiful bottle. Oh my gosh, it is like the aesthetic. The aesthetic of this is just amazing. I'm gonna put that aside and this nestles right in. Look at how gorgeous this is let me do this look at how gorgeous this is this will be perfect for any potions or lotions or moon water or anything like that oh i love how it kind of has like a crackly look to it or oils this will make a really nice like oil bottle or any sort of kind of like anointing type of spell where you can kind of take it and dab it on your eyes. I think that's what I'm going to use it for. Oh, this is beautiful. I love the etched pentacle on it. I love these boxes so much. Okay, so we have that, which is just absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to scooch a couple things out of the way. I also like to save the boxes. <laughs> then we have their... Uh, Letha bath salts or summer solstice bath salt. Let's give this a nice smell. Ooh. Hmm. Smells nice and florally and a little citrusy. Hmm. Very nice. Oh, that tickled my nose. Give you an up close look of that. Very nice. I keep saying very nice because all of these items are very nice. Then we have, I already took a peek at it. This is a cluster, 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 crystal cluster. But I'm not sure of which crystal. I, I don't know what that was. It appears to be quartz. I could be wrong. Oh boy. I don't want to damage it because it's such pretty points. Oh, so pretty. I'm going to give a wild guess that it's quartz. I could be wrong. There's other crystals that are very clear and look similar. Let me do this in the background. Look at how beautiful this is. So pretty. And the best part is I love these clear crystals because they don't get damaged by the sun. So I'm able to decorate my altar with them, which is directly in front of a window. If you haven't seen my altar tour, I'm gonna link it up at the top for you to check it out. But I have a couple crystals on there and I love incorporating quartz or apophyllite. Op Pophilite or selenite or anything like that any clear type of crystals where the Sun isn't going to damage it So they're kind of like strewn across my altar Very excited or amongst my plants because I keep plants again in sunlight and you can't really add Crystals to them that are of color because the Sun is going to drain out the color if you want to keep the color of that crystal so I like to also decorate my plant shelves with various clear kind of crystals. Very excited for that. I'm gonna double check in the description booklet if it is a quartz, but we shall see. Then we have the oil that comes with this box. And we have something in regards to the sun because it has the sun alchemy symbols on it. 
And we have some herbs on the inside. Let's give this a big smell. I think I also see rosemary in it. Mmm, it smells nice. It smells a little like musky and earthy. Very, very nice. I'm gonna put that aside. Then we have their tall candle, which is also a pretty yellow candle. It's perfect for the season. The yellow is perfect for the season. And this is the same thing, just bigger. The struggle is about the same. So here is this one, and they smell a little bit like dye because of the yellow, but mostly like beeswax and honey. So beautiful candle. I don't really think I need to do a close up of that. And then we have more stinky sticks. It is called Honeymoon for the moon in this month, in June, the moon of June. Am I smelling that or am I smelling this? These smell very, very similar. Mm, this one smells a little bit more musky. This one smells a little like lighter. It has a very light earthy scent, but um, stinky sticks. I mean, there's no, it's, it's not very interesting of an up close type of shot. So that is it. We just have squiggles in there. I'm gonna put all this stuff inside to kind of tidy up my desk so I can read about it and talk about the items inside. I adore this. I absolutely adore this. One of the first boxes that I got, The Witch's Moon, I got the most beautiful selenite athame. That box got me hooked on the rest of them. So, which is why I keep getting all three because they're all just so good. <laughs> then we have their information stuff, which they usually send a, pretty much a booklet of. And it says, found within vast magical practices and ideas there is, oh, it's called the alchemist. Found within vast magical practices and ideas, there is but a common goal to turn energy and intention into manifested reality and in turn continue our journey towards perfection and purity. Purity? Mm, not entirely sure. I don't strive to be perfect, I just strive to be a little bit better every single day. So um, I think perfection is a myth, so I wouldn't exactly agree with that. Through elixirs, concoctions, herbal blends, and intense formulated intentions, we find that transformation is truly possible. The beauty that is found within this craft is often hidden within the connections that are created between the elements, spirits, and personal will. It is within these sacred ideas and practices that we create purposeful and deliberate outcomes, for we are all creators and artists. For we all are... For we are all the creators, the artists, the writers. We are the witches. We are the magicians. In this very exclusive collection, we provide unique and useful tools to assist you in turning your intentions into true manifestation. It is important to always remember that your path is sacred to your individual self. We recommend taking the time to connect with the items in this box and use them in a way that feels correct to you. Then we have the exclusive hand-blown alchemical vessel with sample rod. That's the little rod on top. A wonderful and vast subject alchemy is almost impossible to cover completely in such limited space. Found to be rel relevant and practical in early, as early as the first few centuries, alchemy has been found within texts and writings from ancient Egypt, China, Africa, as well as most parts of Europe. Then it has quite a few information on alchemy. Then we have transmutation sigil. Ah, each time I hear like transmutation or kind of alch alchemy, I think of the Full Metal Alchemist anime. Anyways, so this is a transmutation sigil. The transmutation sigil was created specifically for this collection with the intention of enhancing the energies of transformation into your workings and practices. Then we have Table of Alchemical Symbols Book of Shadows artwork, which is this beautiful piece that has all the wonderful little alchemical symbols from planets to basic like compositions, like there's lime, we have sun, the elements, 
that sort of thing. Then we have a hand rolled and anointed divine process spell candle. Oh, maybe that's why it smelled a little funny. Okay, so it was already anointed for you, is it? Are you anointed within or? I don't see any like signs that it was anointed, but it could be anointed like within with an oil or something like that. Maybe that's why I'm smelling something funky from it. Afterwards, we have Purity of Gold Magical Anointing Oil, which is that oil, and it has myrrh, resin, frankincense, orange, ginger, sage, and rosemary. So the myrrh and frankincense is kind of giving it that like earthy muskiness. Then we have a quartz crystal that is a quartz crystal. As one of the most programmable crystals, quartz carries within it the ability to hold your intention and transfer them seamlessly through space. Yes, I love working with quartz. There are, I have a couple crystals that I absolutely love working. Carnelian is the first one, quartz is the second, selenite, and petrified wood. Like those four are my top, top crystals to work with. Wild cherry bark is to bring about good luck during ritual spell casting. Wild cherry bark, known to be used in many attractions and love rituals and it's for good luck during your rituals and spell casting. Then we have Dead Sea Salt, salt from the Dead Sea, obviously. <laughs> it's very well known for its healing properties found in the Middle East. Include Dead Sea Salt into your rituals for healing, cleansing, and banishing. Then we have Marshmallow Root. Uh, allow this soothing and comforting herb to assist you in accomplishing your goals. It is wonderfully attractive and protective herb. Then we have Letha Celebration Sacred Salt Bath. Then we have Honeymoon Ritual Incense Sticks. They don't talk about what's in them, they just talk about that they're a ritual incense stick for the honeymoon. Then we have Honeymoon Book of Shadows. And we have Personalized Oracle Reading Card. And then Extra Parchment Paper for any other spell workings you might want to do. Wonderful box. Love it. That little bottle is just... I don't know what it is about little boxes, little bottles, little like containers. They just bring joy to my heart. Last but not least, we have the Witch's Bounty. Um, again, not much of dramatic opening because we go from brown to well, kind of brown. <laughs> we have some artwork up on the top, their information pamphlet. And here it is, Pearl of Divine Fire. Ooh. So this gives us a hint of what kind of jewelry piece we have. Oh boy. Save that for later. <laughs> so here is the artwork. Again, so, so very pretty. Very beautiful artwork. We're gonna unfold this tissue paper stuff and get to the goodies with it. So here we have a little crystal. Ooh. This is, the name of it is on the top of my tongue and I cannot, I know what it is. I can't, I can't, I can't say what it is though. Sometimes names just totally elude my brain and this is one of them. So we have a little tumbled crystal piece. Then we have another candle. Ooh, we have a nice dark candle. Not sure if it's supposed to be black or dark blue, but it's a very, very dark color candle. So I think this is anointed because I just smelled it and it doesn't have that like perfuminess to it. So it definitely is anointed, but somewhere like within it. And this just smells like beeswax. <laughs> Gonna give you an up close color, an up close view. Like I said, I'm not entirely sure if this is supposed to be black or a dark blue, but it's dark enough to kind of go either way. Then we have the oil that comes with this box. 
every box comes with a specific like ritual type of oil and I do like incorporating them into my magic but I feel like sometimes it's just a bit much and they kind of have like an over, an over surplus of their little bottles. So we have Shield of Athena. Ooh, what does it smell like? Like cough medicine. <laughs> it is very like clean and herbally type of thing. I see some lavender floating around in there and a couple other things, but it really does kind of smell like cough medicine. So here's this bottle. I'm gonna show you the back of it so you can see all the little herb things swimming around. So we have that. Then we have more of their stinky sticks. This is called Heavenly Hearth. Let's give it another sniff. It smells very light. Can't exactly pinpoint of what it is, but they, they all smell slightly different when you start burning them. A nice stinky stick. <laughs> then we have a little cord that goes alongside with the pendant that they have and I usually dislike using their cords because I kind of find them to be slightly subpar to the prettiness of their pendants and we have ooh this one is pretty oh so very pretty I love how it has the moon phases around it Oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. This is such a beautiful pendant. Hope you're able to see like the little moon faces all the way around the edge of it. Oh, gorgeous. And the crystal itself is like slightly see-through, so I'm not sure if it's like a smoky quartz. Beautiful. I'm certain we'll read about it in their little description. So I'm gonna tuck everything away. There's nothing else left other than it squiggles. Put all that away. Oh, not that, we need that. I know what this is, I just can't remember the name of it. Mm. Frustrating. Okay, I'm gonna put you off to the side here so that I can at least see the camera <laughs> of what I'm reading. So this is Shield of Athena box. It is so very easy to fall into the trap of being tired, overwhelmed, or drained of energy due to negative and low vibrational thought patterns. Story of my life. It is often that these symptoms tend to last throughout days, months, or even years. This is the great enemy of creativity, perseverance, growth, and attainment. When one is stuck on their journey, it can often be credited to confusion on where they stand, unable to step into their true and magnificent self, vibrating with energy, commitment, and an overwhelming need to act and progress. In this very special collection, we work with a very rare stone to reunite ourselves with our true purpose revitalizing our perspective and pushing us forward. The magical item in this box are as follows. So we have Pearl of Divine Fire, Agni Manatite, Shield Pendant. Ooh, so it's not a smoky quartz. It is a fancy thing. A rare and uncommon form of tectite. No way! Where did it go? This is a tectite! So, Tectite, I don't know if you guys have heard of Moldavite, that's been very common. A tectite is a glass formed when a meteor hits the earth and whatever kind of minerals around it kind of melt due to the heat and form a glass. So this is a tectite from a meteor and they put it in the box. That's amazing! This is an incredible pendant. Wow. 
Manatite can be found on the island of Java, Indonesia. The Agni Manatite was created by a meteorite crash over the Indonesian archipelago. The name Agni Manatite translates into Pearl of Divine Fire due to how this special type of tektite was formed. The Agni Manatite is considered to be one of the stones of Krishna due to how its energies correlate to the kundalini similar to moldavite in some ways the pearl of fire pushes transformation forward and urges us to start the process of task that have been placed on the back burner for too long yet hold high importance to our personal path i love these boxes so much that is amazing we strongly associate these sacred stone with Athena due to its overwhelming characteristics of courage, morality, intelligence, education, and strength. It is easy for us to get distracted by negative self-thought and low self-esteem. The Pearl of Fire is a wonderful companion in our inspired journey, pushing us towards stepping into our true self, brimming with confidence, skill, and excitement. I am so excited to incorporate that into my jewelry wear and I love how it's not too like big and bulky nice then we have shield of Athena magical anointing oil it contains frankincense oak bark ground sage lavender herbs with cedar and sandalwood oil and there's a mini quartz inside then we have heavenly hearth ritual incense sticks wonderful stinky sticks then we have the higher self spell candle spell candle that I have showed. <laughs> Tem then we have tumbled hematite. Hematite. The stone is hematite. You see, it, it was on the tip of my tongue and I just, just caught it. <laughs> to accompany you on your path, we've included a piece of tumbled hematite. Carry the stone with you throughout your day or place upon your altar to benefit from the wonderful grounding and calming energies. So they put together a very high vibration stone, which literally came from the cosmos, like literally was part of a meteor. Then we have a wonderful grounding stone just to kind of help balance things out. I would not exactly recommend to use both of these at once because they might end up canceling them, canceling each other out. I would say work on maybe focusing and meditating to like raise your vibration and when you're done to kind of ground yourself and relax you kind of reach back for this stone. Try not to use a very high vibration crystal and a very grounding crystal together because they might end up just kind of canceling each other out. All right, then last but not least we have pearl of divine fire book of shadows artwork magnificent boxes magnificent things i thought this little jar was my favorite thing but this pendant has has taken the lead i am impressed very impressed that they put such a rare crystal in those boxes it is amazing all right so Here's that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this unboxing. Let me know what your favorite item box article of these boxes were down in the comments. And if you have made it this far, put a comment down of the little sun for, you know, the summer solstice coming up. So here's that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, the whole shebang. We have tons of magical fun here and I shall see you in the next video. Bye.